Hello, this screencast is on writing equations of polynomial functions. So here we have a graph that we're going to write the equation for. So first we have to think about the end behavior. End behavior. Now here we have an end behavior of decreasing and decreasing. So what does that mean? Well, if they're both decreasing, it means that it has to be negative leading coefficient, and we have to have an even degree. Now, we can assume that the leading coefficient is positive or negative 1, so we know that the leading coefficient will be negative 1. So now we have to look at our zeros. So looking, we see 1 at negative 4, 1 at 0, and 1 at 1. Now negative 4, that is a cubic function, which means that it has multiplicity of 3. 0 bounces, it's a quadratic, so it has a multiplicity of 2. And 1 goes straight through, it's linear, so there's a multiplicity of 1. So now we want to write the function f of x equals, again we know that it is a negative 1, and then we have x plus 4. Why do we have plus 4? Well it's because when x is negative 4 the parentheses will be 0, so then we take the opposite sign, so x plus 4, multiplicity of 3, so it will be cubed. Then we have x plus or minus 0, doesn't work out, and then that's squared. And then we have x minus 1, and there's multiplicity of 1 there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this equation, simplify it a little bit, because I don't like that where it's x and then squared. So I'm going to actually write it as f of x equals negative x squared, because I've just distributed the negative there, and then times by x plus 4 cubed and x minus 1. And that is our equation for the graph. Now there are two types of equations that you can do, assuming the leading coefficient is positive or negative 1, and actually finding the leading coefficient. So this next example, we have to write the equation, but we have to find the exact value a. So we start with our end behavior. And we note that it is decreasing and then increasing. So that means that we have an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient. Then we want to look at our zeros. And we see that there's 1 at negative 1, and there's 1 at 6. Now negative 1 has a multiplicity of 2, and 6 has a multiplicity of 1, because it goes straight through at that point, and at negative 1 it bounces. So we can write our equation from that information, and we say f of x is equal to some value a that we don't know yet, our leading coefficient. Then we have x plus 1. Again, we're taking the opposite sign. And it is to the second power because it has a multiplicity of 2. And x minus 6, multiplicity 1, so we don't need to write that in. So now to find the a, I'm actually going to look on the graph and pick a point. I see this nice point here, which is 1, negative 40. Then I'm going to use that value to find a. So I know negative 40 is my y, I don't know a, and my x is 1. And I'm just going to simplify this down. Negative 40 equals a 2 squared times negative 5. Negative 40 equals a 4 times negative 5. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20a, and that equals negative 40. We're going to divide by negative 20. So then a will equal 
2. So now I can rewrite my equation in its full form. I'll do f of x equals 2, because we found that a. And if we look, it had to be positive, and it is. So that's great. 2 times x plus 1 squared times x minus 6. And that is my final equation for this graph. So now I'd like you to try it on your own. So here is a graph. I want you to find the exact value of a for the leading coefficient and use the information that you know. Now I've given you a hint here. I've given you this point a. So that should help you when trying to find um, the leading coefficient. Good luck.